Now then, you want to create a really cool 3D map in the right place. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY Channel. To make the whole project happen, we're going to need two major tools. First of all is a laser and engraving machine. I've got the ATA P10 Combo, which is a 10 watt module here. And on top of that, we're going to need a computer or a laptop. I'm going to be using a laptop and I'm going to take you a step by step process with free software you can get online to create the design of the maps and then we're going to use the laser to actually cut it out. So let's jump into my laptop. First of all in Google put snazzy maps. Okay, that's what we're going to be using to generate the maps. Go into create a style. I'm just going to go for default, apply the style. And over here, we're just going to select the area that we want. As you can see, it's the whole world. You can do a map of <laughs> absolutely anything. However, I want to do my hometown, which is in Poland, called Kalisz, one of the oldest cities in Poland. So I'm just zooming in, finding the right location. Next, on the left hand side, we've got all the menus. So we go to all uh, geometry, we uh, put off so we don't want to see it and labels take that off as well. So we've got a blank canvas like that. Next, we go into landscape and uh, natural, and for that, we need to change the geometry to on at the same time. Uh, we're going to change the color of it to black. After that, the same thing we're going to do with water, uh, geometry on. However, this time we're going to change the color to white. And this is our first picture that we want to save. OK, so you can press download just over here. And it's important to have the largest dimensions you can. So change all these settings here and the scale two times three as well. And then just press download. After that, we're going to go to roads as we want to have some roads in this map and um, go to the geometry and then change it to on and the color will change it to black. Um, we're going to go back to the water. We can turn that off and again, we're going to go to the landscape and natural and we're going to change that to off as well. And as you can see, we've got a nice map of roads. Now in here, you've got a few options. You've got highways and um, some local roads as well. So for the first photo, I actually want to have just the local roads uh, as this will be the part that we're going to engrave. As you can see, all the settings need to be at maximum again and just press download. Now I'm going to turn off the local roads and I want to have the motorways, highways, you know, the bigger roads. So I'm just changing the settings as you can see on the screen. And this will be actually serving us as a cutout. So that's the roads I want for the last photo. And again, download what you see. Now we need to work those photos a little bit. The software I'm using is a free software called Inkscape. I'm just changing the size of my workspace to suit the size of my laser bed. OK, so what I can actually engrave or cut out. Uh, I'm going to go for 410 uh, X and Y axis, and that's what I'm going to have to work with. Just like that, that's my working area to which I'm dragging um, the photo with the river and the lakes and everything like that. OK, so first of all, we need to go to path. So we need to create a vector um, version of this. So go to path, then trace a bitmap. OK, you've got all these selections here, single, change that to 500. It seems to be working really good for me when I've changed it to 500 and apply. OK, and when you drag this, you've got two photos. One is the old one that we can delete and the other one is our vector one to check which one's which. If you press that tool there and you've got all the dots and that's your vector map and the other one, as I said, we can delete. Now we need to change it so the laser can see it and actually cut things out. So 
we're going to fill and stroke and we're going to change the fill to none and the stroke to um, the first option there after the X okay as you can see now we've got just the trace of the river and the lakes um, the size of the line I'm going to change to uh, 0 0.06 okay so that's more or less the size of the dot of my laser uh, you think it may actually disappear like that but it's just very very faint it's just the perfect setting for a laser I'm just going to adjust the size so it fits our square and as you can see that's how it looks like Similar thing applies to the uh, next photo we're going to do is the local maps this time. We don't want to cut it out, we want to engrave this, okay? So we're going to follow the same steps, path, bitmap tracing, and just carry on like that until uh, you get the final um, result, just like that. Scale it down to fit our box. At this time we're not touching the fill and stroke it will remain as is as i said we're going to be engraving this okay now it's time for the main road this time again we're going to be cutting things out okay so we're going to follow the same steps as in the first example and in the fill and stroke options as mentioned before uh, the fill needs to be nothing and trace the first box and as you can see we've got perfect lines there just change the um how thick they are and we are ready to start engraving and cutting the project out now the software that i use for the laser is uh, laser grbl or laser gerbil so i'm just selecting the water <laughs> i.e uh, the rivers the lakes and everything like that um center line because we're going to be cutting things out over here okay so that's more or less my settings here and uh, when you press next uh, we're going to go for 150 millimeters per minute uh, 100 percent power and we're going to go for 400 by 400 size wise and off we go Okay, next it's time for the local roads and this will be engraved, okay? So check out my settings, that's what I'm going to be using, making sure to change the power settings as well, everything else remains the same, okay? And off we go! Now as the laser is doing its thing, I just want to say a massive thank you for the sponsors of today's video, which is Acer themselves. Thank you for providing this fantastic laser machine. Um, as you can see, it's doing a superb job in cutting and engraving. It's a super capable machine. I actually done a full video review and massive test video on this. I'm going to leave a link down below so you can check it out. But yes, thank you to Acer for providing this machine and supporting the channel. Now back to the software, um, I'm going to upload a photo of a massive square. Uh, this basically will allow me to uh, cut out each layer to the same size. It's just the best way to do it. Uh, it will make sure, as I say, to all three layers to be at the same size. And there we go. The first layer is completed. So we've cut out a nice square. That is our uh, middle layer. As you can see, the rivers are done, the lakes are done, and we engraved uh, the local roads in it as well. Fantastic results. Now we're going to cut out the main roads. And um, so I'm selecting the correct file. As you can see, center line is selected, so everything that you see in the middle will be cut out. Now I'm going to engrave a uh, name of my town and obviously its location as well. I think it's a really cool addition to the whole map. And um, obviously, you know, what I've showed you before is just the basics uh, of how you can generate a map. The one I'm engraving, I've just tweaked it a little bit uh, to add some extra features like the name of the town, as I said, and a few other things as well, just for the map to stand out a little bit and look a little bit more interesting. So you just need to mess around with both of the softwares to produce the results that you want. And check that out. 
every single cut in this project was done with a single pass okay the laser head is 10 watts super powerful and it gives you really nice and clean cuts there's no overburn nothing like that really really good quality fantastic laser to have and now is the time for the final cut which is the original backs uh, background square that we're going to paint in blue as that will give us the color of the water that we'll be able to see through through the middle layer check that out right then now it's time to put everything together so you can see how everything looks like as i said we've got the base layer the blue one with the <laughs> watercolor on top of that we've got the middle one with the streets and the lakes and rivers and on top of that we've got the main roads and framing everything i think it looks absolutely fantastic what a great project okay so let's glue all the pieces together i'm using ca glue just for a quick grab and after that i'm going to be applying some wood glue now make sure you don't get any squeeze out so you don't really need that much of the glue you know it will hold it's not going to fall apart so as i said ca glue and wood glue make sure there's no squeeze out um, when you apply that just put some pressure on it like tins of paint anything like that will do after a few minutes when the CA grabs, you can um, add the last layer, the top layer. Again, same thing, CA glue, wood glue, uh, whack it on there, put some pressure on it and wait it to cure. Now you can finish the project just there, okay? However, I want to add a nice frame to the whole uh, map. I think that will look really, really nice. So as you can see on my table, so I'm just cutting a piece of ash to the correct sizes um, I need. And on the mitre saw, so I'm just continuing cutting the pieces to the correct sizes. On the router table, I'm cutting out a groove, a channel uh, to accommodate for the map itself. I'm using a straight bit 10 millimeters in size. Back again at the mitre saw station, cutting out the 45 degree angles. And check that out, nice and tidy mitre joint and the frame makes the map to pop out even more. What a great look. Bit of sanding of all the parts, I'm going right up to 150, I don't think there's a need to go any higher than that. Now I'm just breaking the edges with a bit of sandpaper and um, I'm just going through all the sharp edges. Right then, now it's time to glue the frame together. Um, again, nothing special here, quite easy to do. Uh, as long as everything fits together, the miters are nice and tight and there won't be any problems with that. I've got this fancy uh, clamp for picture frames. Um, nice fancy but relatively cheap. Um, definitely recommend that if you are planning to do any uh, picture frames, anything like that, it's a very, very nice and handy clamp to have in projects like these. Right then, this step is a little bit of a afterthought. <laughs> I decided that the frame itself would look actually a lot better if it was black so as you can see i'm applying some wood stain in total i'm going for three coats with some d nibbon in between the coats as a finish for this project i'm going to be using some spray varnish i'm going to go for three coats in total with d nibbon in between the coats i think it's just the easiest finish you can apply to this especially to the nature of the project And check that out. How cool and absolutely awesome is that? I have to say, by far, this is now my favorite project of all time. 
I absolutely love it. This is something that I wanted for years now, and now I can make it myself. Now think about this opportunity, because it's something that's gonna go and stay in my house. However, the business opportunity, thanks to a laser engraver and cutter, are absolutely massive. Making maps like these for from the holidays, from the places where you met your wife or your girlfriend, anything like that. You can add additional markers to the map to highlight those special events in your life. Think about having a business just like that. And it's just an opportunity. I just wanted to show you that what you can make with a laser engraver and cutting machine. In this case, it's the Acer P10 Combo. Fantastic bit of kit and so, so capable of creating amazing pieces like this map. Now, I hope the whole tutorial and the whole video was helpful to you. If it was, don't forget to drop me that like button down below. And if you're not a subscriber, there's plenty of cool content coming in the future, so consider subscribing to my channel. Now, I do have a lot more videos with some really cool uh, projects already on my channel, so here are some uh, links, some uh, links to my playlist, so you can go and have a look, click those, and hopefully I'll see you on those videos there. Take care.